Hi, welcome to the SDPN Holiday Christmas episode. Uh, well, one of them. There's there's six, actually. But this one is the trivia version. Now, your trivia master, Jesse Blake, he's actually really, really good at this. Uh, fun fact, when we were at Virgin Radio, Jesse started doing trivia at 9.30 every morning, and we started to see a spike in the ratings. And then when he left, they were like, what are we going to do? Because <laughs> Jesse's games were so creative. They, they were like, what, what are we going to do? I'm like, I well, you know. I have the rest of the show to worry about. Maybe someone else, but nobody could fill in like but that. But nobody, 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 nobody did. You guys just didn't keep doing well, trivia? We, we like, did. Seems like a simple we solution. We did with our new producer, but then our boss was like, yeah, why don't we just look at doing something else? And we just oh, never no. did anything else. Oh, no. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Sorry, Leah. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't heard that. That's story. a true story. Yeah. Anytime you have a winning formula, abandon it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's uh, you know, there's there's stuff going on in that business. Yeah. There sure <laughs> is. Hey, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be me versus Steve, and I feel yep. like we know how this is gonna go. Like if we were bet MGMing <laughs> this, okay, the big story would be the fact that uh, Steve is probably the odds-on favorite to win this at betmgm.com/dangle. You think that, but I think I've I've managed this game so. That both of you guys will have a shot. Because I'm assuming the category isn't exclusively like niche, name a hockey trade from 1994. Niche Toronto Maple Leafs trivia. Yes, it's ah, not the okay. entire hour. Okay. So there's a there's a lot to go through. I'll explain the game for everybody listening and watching. There is a little mug in front of Steve and Adam. Adam, what is that on the front? That is Baby Yoda or Grogu for Star Wars fans. <laughs> Grogu. Grogu. When they when they finally released the name of this guy, I'm like, that is really disappointing. It's a sh- <laughs> Baby Why Yoda is it was so his much name better. Baby Yoda. Well, because Yoda is a is is just it's not the name of the species. It's the name of the character. Ah. So we didn't know what to call him. So that's what people call them. What is the species? We don't know yet. They actually what? don't even tell you. I don't even think they tell you. I, it's I mean, been six I'm sure years. it's on like Star Wars wiki, but I don't know. Can I just say, I don't have, I don't want to learn any more about Star Wars. <laughs> I, I You've been out right. too long. Actually, you know what I think with Star Wars, the problem with Star Wars right now is they keep adding new shit to it. Just yeah. keep the shit scared. Like the, there's a there's enough of a there's enough. The just universe use is what big you enough. Have. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to add every time. It's not Disney Disney Plus. It's just Pottermore for Star Wars. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. I agree with that. Marvel Comic Universe too. <laughs> so <laughs> in the baby Yoda mug in front of Steven Adam are about twenty two ish little slips of paper. On each of those slips of paper are a category of questions. There are two types of questions. There are there is a test and there is a quiz. So you'll get a name blank blank blank, and it'll either be a test or a quiz. On quiz questions, it'll be to buzz in. First person answer gets to answer the question. On test questions you have pieces of paper in front of you you will write down your list of answers you will have a minute to write down that list of answers and then you will submit and then we will tally your correct answers now do we pick these out of so you guys will take turns picking the little slips of paper out of the baby yoda mug and that is the category we will go with and at the end of this entire episode we're not going to get through all of the slips of paper it's going to take uh, if we did, it'd take much more than the hour. So we'll we'll cut it off at a certain point around an hour-ish. And at the end of that time, whoever has the most points total wins. All right. Oh. And your prize? I don't have one. Ah, it's bragging. Pride. Bragging. Pride. <laughs> yeah, which it's just hilarious because if Steve wins, everybody will be like, what are you bragging about, man? That's like beating up a toddler. <laughs> yeah. And, and <laughs> I'll do memory. it anyway. Adam trying to rope a dope you here. Steve's memory oh, when I it know. comes to anything outside of hockey is questionable at best. But when it comes to hockey things, you don't, it's like photographic. You don't forget anything. That's why this is not all hockey. Oh, like obviously. Now, Steve, we could have just stick to hockey. Oh, I'm gonna learn so much about the seed. Franco-Prussian War. <laughs> Being the number one overall seed, Steve. Yep, you pick the first question. Take it out. Right. Oh, oh, this one feels good. Yeah, it feels like it. a winner. Spicy. <laughs> first one, World War II ah! history quiz. Yeah! So this is we got we're on the quiz. So pull out your cell phones. I'm gonna get you guys to bu- get on the buzzer app. All right, I have the questions ready. All right, hit me. Let's test the buzzer. Who is what is my name? Jet. It didn't work. Jesse. Buzz. 
Players buzzed. Adam and then no stove won. Stove. Won. I won. Oh, you go. Yeah. So it's more of a press than a tap. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yes. That. Reset all buzzers. How do we do that? I, okay, I, I'm you doing do that. that. You're I'm the talking quiz about on my master. End. Yeah, that's, I did that on my end. All we right. may want to cut the segment down. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. What was the longest battle of World War II? Stove. Um, battle of the Somme, which I'm pretty sure is World War I. Steel, Adam. Stalingrad. Incorrect. Battle oh. of the Atlantic. No points. Oh, oh boo. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I accidentally buzzed there. Okay. To reset the buzzer. Oh, reset buzzer. That, All right. Okay. Okay. I guess if we're talking semantics, it would have been great to know if it was naval or. Uh, oh, uh, that's fair. Uh, 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 hey, uh, uh, I'm a uh, historians. Come on. You Come said on. you were going to lose this. Oh, it's 82. All and right. now all of a sudden you're upset. You got the first one wrong. All right. Next question. What was the largest battleship of World War II? Adam. Bismarck. Largest battleship. Uh, number 10. No. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't make sense. Steve. Tugger. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be an American aircraft carrier. Yama. Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Oh, really? Yamato. Oh. No, Yamato. Yeah, there's no mo mo moto. Oh, Yamato. So an that's hockey brain. Yamamato. Yamamoto. Yeah. That's who yeah. it was. Okay. All right. All right. I'm Man, gonna, I'm gonna, doing this, well. this is going to be a little easier. I'm going to reset all buzzers. Where was the first atom bomb tested? Adam. Uh, it was tested in the Aleutian Islands. Incorrect. Ah. <laughs> Nevada? <laughs> Close. Oh! Close. Nevada. New Mexico. Ah. No. Oh, sorry. Ah. No. You got for nobody has a point yet. Wow. Oh. wow. We're going to do we're going to do 5 of these questions and then we'll get, pull, pull up a new one. All right, fine. All right. What was the code name for the Battle of Normandy? Oh, man. Um, oh. Wait. I know this. I know this. Oh, Steve. Is that just D-Day? Incorrect. No, no. no. Adam. D-Day was feel. a nickname given after. I know my grand Father was in this. Field. It's um. Oh, I, I know. I know the your first. Grandfather was in with this. <laughs> yes. And I have. Okay. 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 I'm gonna guess here. Yeah. No, Adam. This is your chance to steal. Operation Sea Lion. Oh, so ah! close. Operation I... Overlord. Fuck. You're uh, so I knew close. It. I did know uh, that. I knew that too. Fuck. I know. That's D Day, though, right? I'm so bad at quizzes. I, I hate this. Like, right, it's here we not, go. That's not the code name. No, but... yeah, that's the, the code name is what we were D -Day looking for. D Day was a newspaper designation given later. Right. Decision right. Day. He was he was in D Day. Son of a gun. Huh? All right. And now he's disowned you. Let's let's do two more since you guys are over. Oh. I just want to get somebody to get one. He's dead. But yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me reset all buzzers. But not what there. What country nope. sent reinforcements in the form of Division Azul to aid Germany in its World War II attack on the Soviet Union? Which country sent reinforcements in the form of Division Azul? Adam buzzed in. Finland? Incorrect. Ah, shit. Spain. Correct. Wow. Yes. Wow. Oh. Spain? Spain. Wow. I don't know. Azul sounds wow. Spanish. It does. <laughs> All right. Steve gets one yeah, point. Steve steals the warlord. First twist. point of the, wow. of the entire Who's keeping trivia track game? of the score, by the way? Maddie is. All right, Maddie. Maddie is oh, over there. Maddie's having a really hard time over there. That wow. yeah. All right. Fuck that trivia. Yeah. You guys are awful. Those are hard <laughs> questions, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding on to this. Victory. All right. <laughs> Paul, uh, Steve, since you were, or Adam, you go since Steve did the last one. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, you do it. What do we got? Looking for something that's spicy. Let's go hockey related. Do, leave goaltenders of 2007. That might be in there. Oh, it's a test. Okay. The Toronto Maple Leafs roster of 1967. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Get out your pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put. Two minutes on the clock. Maddie, if you want to do picture in picture of the clock into yeah. the bottom of the three I'm, shot. I'm that's folding up my paper so can you can't see. see. I'm folding it up. I'm just, don't you peek. If you okay. peek so what are we doing? supposed to do? Just get as many names as we can? As many names as you can, Wait. and then we'll uh, tally it up. Okay. Are you timing it? Yeah. We got two minutes on the clock here. Okay. There you go. Two minutes. Mm -hmm. Is that too much time? No, no. no. Oh, no. you want to? Okay. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to say three. I'm going to say two, and then I'm going to say one. Go. Two minutes on the clock. 1967 Toronto Maple Leafs. The last time they won the Stanley Cup 
You must name as many players as you can while I search for the answers to this quiz. I have them here somewhere. Oh, that's not that one. No, oh, that's not that one. I'm very excited for the other games in the bowl. Mm. Um, I think we're going to get some very fun categories when we stray a little further from hockey. I'm glad we started with the World War II. I think it set a good bar for the entire trivia game. I can't find the 1967 team here just yet. Google it. I can Google it, but I had them all. Oh, here we go. All right, I got them. There's a reason I have it all here, so I can mark them off as you read them to me. That's why I think it's important that I have it in a physical piece of paper. We have one minute left, gentlemen. Man, I can't remember the last time I looked at this roster. I got to think about this. One minute left. Oh, my God. What's his name? There it is. There's one that I'm thinking of, and I can't. Uh-oh. One of the Leafs leaders all time. I can't think of his name. I you guys got, can. I got his picture in my head. You guys can uh, talk through your process if you'd like. <clears throat> so or... how? Uh, what if we get? What if we write down a name and get it wrong? That well, doesn't count. No. Yeah. Just you can do that. But you don't lose points. No. If you write okay. down Matt Sundin, oh, that's fine. You know. I'm not going to do that. If you write down Austin Matthews, nobody will criticize you. <laughs> Might think you're a little silly, but uh, you won't lose any points. We got 20 seconds left. Let's see how many you can get. I'm going to get you guys to read your answer so I can cross them off and give you some checkpoints uh, as we tally the votes. Ten seconds. Oh, man. Nine. Eight, uh, I don't know. seven, six, I'm done. five, I'm four. Done. Adam is done. Steve, you are done as oh. well. That is it. Okay. Steve. Yes. Go ahead. Steve's going to win this one. Bob Bunn. One. Johnny Bauer. Two. Terry Sawchuk. Three. George Armstrong. Four. Dave Keon. Dave Keon. Five. Frank Mahovlich. Six. Ron Ellis. Seven? Bob Pulford, question mark? Bob Pulford, eight. And uh, my last one, Tim Horton. Tim Horton, no. No. Oh, yes. Oh, he was. I got hey. him. There you go. He wasn't traded to Buffalo just yet. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Um, um, there's a few guys. How many was that, Maddie? Uh, what did I get you? Nine? That was nine. One, two. That's nine points for Steve. So all of my names are right, but I don't have enough. So I've already lost. Oh, so you have the same yeah, names as Sawchuk, Bauer, Mahovlich, Bond, Pulford, Horton, Armstrong. I was looking for Ellis. Uh, that's who I was thinking about. That's and me I, too. I couldn't think of it. And then there was another one, and and and, and uh, who was like a great player into the '70s who got disassociated with the team, and then now is back with the team. Bond, Bauer. I would have never known John Brenneman, Wayne Carlton. Brian Conacher, <laughs> Kent Douglas, don't know any of these. Ott Erickson, Bruce Gamble, Dick Gamble, uh, oh, Larry Hillman, uh, Brent Imlach, who I guess is related to Punch Imlach, Larry Jeffrey, Red Kelly, I forgot. Oh, uh, geez. Milan Marchetta, Jim McKenney, I wouldn't oh, have known. Oh, man. I remember him from the 70s, but I didn't remember. Jim That's pa a cardinal sin. Jim Pappen, Marcel Pronovos, I should, probably should have known. Dwayne Rupp, Terry Sodchuk, Britt Selby. Eddie Shack was on that team. Al Smith. Uh, Gary Smith, Alan Stanley is probably the one I was looking for. Pete Stemkowski and Mike Walton. Adam, so how many did you have on your paper? I had seven. Seven? And they were all correct. Okay. I just didn't, I just didn't have enough. That's I, plus seven? That's a tough, that's a really tough one because outside of the, like, who's ever heard of Larry Jeffrey? Well, like, when I was, wow. when I didn't I was, expect you to get them all. <laughs> when I was trying to remember Ron Ellis, who like, I literally have gotten, I've met him and gotten an autograph from him. Probably have a picture of him in your room. It, I was, I met him and Johnny Bauer at a Marley's game and they were doing autographs, but my brain kept going Dave Ellett and I ha kept having oh. to go, no, override. That's not Dave Ellett. You watch <laughs> Dave Ellett play. Think of someone else. And my brain went Dave Ellett. And I went, it's not Dave Ellett. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. All right. All right. Steve? Yes. Pick. Pick. All right. I'm throwing that. There. That's gone. Oh, it's a hockey one. Thank goodness. Top 10 all-time assists. Correct order. Test. Correct order. So this is a test. Oh. If you're... If you're player that you list is out of order it is an incorrect answer oh man <laughs> oh, all time baby. top 10 assists i have it here do you need another one? piece of paper how much time should we put on the clock maddie 
Yeah. I think two minutes is probably too long, but uh, one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Yeah. All right. We're giving them one minute on this timer. Damn. This is this is all the shit I hated about school. I can't. <laughs> Memory work is just the, the least. The added pressure of time. Yeah. Horrible. 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 Your brain malfunctions. All right. Presentation though, I'll kill it. Three, two, one. Go. You got fifty-seven seconds. How do you spell Gretzky? <laughs> Um, I will accept last names. Thank you. If you want to just run down the last names, I don't need you to spell um, Mitch Marner thing. correctly. Correctly, got it. you know. Got it. Got it. Got that's that's fine. Oh, the correct order yeah. is hurting. Yeah, that that's hard. And what's the current score, Maddie? Uh, it's like for all the trivia. Yeah, it'll be a grand total. So what are they at right now? Um, Steve is at ten. Adam seven. Ten seven. 10-7 for Steve. Adam, I want, I'm want. i expecting a big comeback here. Oh, like, man. I think you can gain some points in this one. Uh, it's not hard, but it's really hard. It is hard. No, the order, order, makes, the order really is the tricky than you part. Think. Also, you got three seconds left. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Two, one. Pets down. Pets down. Right, pets Shit, down. Steve, put your pets down. Well, I wrote down four names. Steve I wasn't paying attention to time. Steve, you said a minute, and now we're here. I know it's my fault. It's better than it was a minute, though. It's yeah. Totally oh yeah. And this that, is... that 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 Toronto Maple Leafs last minute was fucking brutal. I'm like, I'm failing the whole time. <laughs> oh, I, know. I didn't write her name down. Was... You felt like you're in grade twelve. Oh again. my god, it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. All right, All right, Steve, read them out. Number one, Wayne Gretzky. Correct. Number two, Yager. Incorrect. <gasps> no. That's one point so far. Number three. Ron Francis. Incorrect. Oh, no. That is only one point so far. Gordy Howe. You, at four? That's who you have at four? So because I got two and three wrong, <laughs> I put Howe at four. Incorrect. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who's that so five? I got one? That's it? That's all I was able to write down. Oh. You told me Ben's down. I know. I, I buckled. Okay. I buckled. I am oh, crossing my fingers. You're crumbling them. under the pressure. I'm crossing my fingers. How isn't it Yager? <laughs> I know. I think I know who it is. Adam. Gretzky. Correct. Messier. Incorrect. Oh, motherfucker. Yager. At three? Yeah. No. Lemieux, how? Lemieux at four? No. Marcel uh, Dion at five. <laughs> you got how? it. How? The correct answer. All time assists. Gretzky. Ron Francis, oh! Mark Messier, Ray Bork, Yarmir Yager, Bork. Paul Coffey, Joe Thornton, Adam Oates, Stevie Y, Gordy wow. Howe. I was wow. write down All Thornton right. and Oates, but I wouldn't have had the... Uh, I, you know I can honestly say there's not oh, a chance in I was, I was just showing Adam. Oh. No, it's okay. I don't, I've look never looked it. at that list. <laughs> oh, well, Remember, you can't now. You can't, yeah, you can't now. now. You can't. Yeah, look at it now. <laughs> That's only... Uh, Maddie. if you could add one point for Adam, one point for Steve, that is Back it. That's in embarrassing. It. Man, I thought with Messier being second in all-time points that I was like... Or you Yager's be, second! Yeah, used to be second in all-time points. Wow. Yager's got 1,900 points. Wow. Yeah. And he's not... Man... All right, Adam. Oh, man. Baby Yoda mug. What you got? All right, all right, all right. This is a quiz. Oh, oh baby. Red Dead Redemption trip. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Adam, right. humbly, I'm going to eat your fucking food. Oh, man. Okay, if you guys could sign back into the buzzer and you give me a second just to pull up these quiz questions. Let's go. I accidentally buzzed you again. You have to reset the buzz. That's all right. If I lose this, I'm leaving the room. As if I lose know. this, I'm going home. I don't even remember all their names. I only got about halfway through it. I'm going to beat you up for that. I know. You know what it, you know what it is? It was like what? right around that time, it was like I was switching jobs to mornings, and then Everly came along mm. like the next year, mm. and then it was like I just didn't have the time. Um, and then that first, every time I want to restart, it's like the first chapter is so the long. The first chapter is bad. I just don't have time to sit around for that. Producer Nick's girlfriend is playing it and he sent me a screenshot and I knew the exact mission. And I was like, ask her which option she picked. And that, oh, I was so excited. Was, yeah, thank I think you I'm, for I reminding think me to bug him. I am in trouble. I am in trouble. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Question number one. Mm. Who does Arthur go shopping with after they attacked Pearson? Adam buzzed first. Is it? Is it? 
Uh, it's it's his uh, it's his love, right? The love person is. What it, is their name? I, I feel like it's like Molly or Addie or something like that. I'm gonna go with Molly. <laughs> <laughs> So close. You were kind of close. Sadie ah, Adler. Sadie Adler. You said Addy, and I was like, yeah. oh, is he going to? Oh. That's yeah, no, one, some stuff ish. Yeah. One point for Steven. Listen, if I can out buzz Steve on this game, this is my only chance. You're good, you're good <laughs> with the buzzer. I'm trying to out buzz him. <laughs> All right. Question number two What is the biggest town in the game which offers most services the player needs? Adam. Saint Denis. Correct. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. He's, yeah, you're on I got to buzz him. I got to buzz him. He knows. What animal does Arthur and Charles hunt for the gang when they have only a rabbit and deer? You got to reset our buzz. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's let's reset that. New question. Who does Arthur go with to save John from almost being eaten by wolves? Stove. Javier. That is correct. I remember Javier that mission. I know that mission. Yes. Because it's in the boring chapter. Boring one. beginning chapter, yes. yeah. Put a point on the board for Steven. The buzzer. The buzzer. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting to reset the buzzer. Okay. Who sends Arthur a letter who then asks for help with family? Oh. So, oh, Adam. <laughs> Sadie Adler. Incorrect. It's not? It is not. So this is a... Bit of a trick question because there's two different people who do this, mm -hmm. but I assume they're talking about Mary Linton, and if they're not, it's Penelope Braithwaite. You only get one guess. Oh, Mary Linton. Mary Linton is correct. Yes. <laughs> All right. Is Mary, okay, was Mary his ex-girlfriend? It's from chapter yes. two. That was the one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I yes. remember that. Mm -hmm. And then they go on a date, and she's like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, no. A really nice date. I hate that storyline. That love story sucks. It pisses me off. Yeah. She just uses him. She just, you spend a lovely day together and then she's like, you'll never change. And it's like, then why did I take it to the theater? <laughs> Question we had a very nice time watching the dancers. That was a fun time, that theater scene. Question from chapter two. Who does Arthur go with to hunt the legendary bear? Steve? Hosea Austin Matthews. Correct. Um, I'll ding you half a point because you said Austin. Oh! No, no, I'm right. kidding. No, that's I'm funny. Kidding. <laughs> I love this. Last question. I love this so much. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what animal... Reset the buzzer. Yeah. I'm already out. If it says animal, I, I those side quests are so fucking boring. <laughs> uh, no. Is the best part. Yeah, like, searching the legendary animal out, I'm like, oh, who cares? All right, anyway. Do you play online? No, no, I don't. Okay, okay. So I'll. I'll I've heard it's not great it. online. No, I've heard GTA is better online. I tried it. I'm meh. What animal does Arthur herd to Valentine for money? Adam, is it not sheep? Sheep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I remember that mission. You said you were out of it. Yeah. It was an animal question, and look at that. Yeah, I thought it was sheep. Well done. You okay. you stole a couple there. All right. Not bad. All right. Maddie, what's the uh, score update? Red Dead Redemption trivia. Oh my god. Oh. I was very happy about that. 13 to 10. 13 10. Okay. 15 10. Oh, 15 10. 15 10. Okay. 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 Right. We're All still right. there. You're We're still close. It. We're in it. Okay. You're in it. All right. Okay. Next uh next piece of paper. <clears throat> oh boy. Steven. Oh, I mean, you, buddy. Did you by the way, did you ever take did you ever find those oil carts and like deliver them? Oh yeah. Other than that first mission? Yes. Yeah, and, yeah, the okay. uh, the uh, uh, you steal it from Cornwall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's uh, there's other ones around. Yeah, so you could steal one from Valentine, or you can steal one directly from the refinery. Uh, the refinery is harder. The right, refinery is really hard. They sh start shooting at you. Yeah, you literally just gotta hop the fence, get on, and go. Bah! And like, don't even like shoot back at anyone. Just run. <laughs> just go. Anyway, got a quiz or we got a test? What's the category? <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I think Adam might win this one. Oh. Last five album of the year Grammy winners. Oh. Test. And it's a know. test. I think we might have to cap this at 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give I, you, you know a minute. What? A minute I, goes by fast. I haven't got the slightest clue. So if that makes you feel any better. Uh -oh. I stopped paying attention to the Grammys when The Weeknd wasn't nominated for album of the year, despite having the number one song for... 55 straight weeks it was so like i was like okay we're done with the Grammys. they don't make music for like me anymore i'm 35 
No, yeah, you're also out of the, the yeah. age bracket that they make music for. <laughs> they used to have, it's funny, in like the 80s and 90s, they used to have like easy listening for people who were the, over the age of 35, and they've just completely abandoned that. No. Like Phil Collins went from like top 40 to easy listening. Rod Stewart, top 40 to easy listening. But they've, they've just never done that. Oh, that's my answer. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. All right, here we go. All right, go. last five. So we're going 2018 through 2023. Okay. That's that's actually no. So we're going 2019. Sorry to 2020. I gotta give you album One, name. Two, three, four, five. Give me all except because this isn't your wheelhouse. Mm. I'll accept artist or album. Mm. If you just give me the artist, if you take a wild guess and you might guess it right, give me the artist and or if you give me the album name, I will give you a point. Got it. Okay. One minute on the clock is underway. This is a tricky one. I thought Adam would be a little better at it, but he's not very confident in his abilities. As Do I have to go by year, too? Uh, yeah, you got to give me the right year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You got like, to guess 2023 and then the right artist, uh, else you don't get a point. Like, if you guess the artist and they were actually 2018 or something, that doesn't count. Okay. You got to give me the correct year. Give me the album title. Give me the artist. That's a point. You can just wild stab in the dark for just like popular people. That was probably a good strategy here. Gentlemen, mm -hmm. 18 seconds left. A minute goes by real quick. All right. I got my five. <laughs> you got your five? You know, La like label them with the year too. Just so we know oh, okay. uh, what year you're guessing for which artist, right? Five seconds. Adam, keep writing. Five, <laughs> two, one. That is it. All right. Steve. <clears throat> Submit your answers. Okay. I got Taylor Swift. 2023? Uh, I put 19, but... Oh, uh, you... Okay, you're going... Dude, I got to get the year. 19, yeah. incorrect. Uh, classified. For 2020? Nope. Yeah. Incorrect. Yep. Uh, chaos? Nope. Um, Rascals? Oh, so you did, you bailed out. I'm just going with Canadian artists, Jesse. Okay. I assume they won because they're the best. Gra Grammy Awards used to mean something. Now they're just sort of like an insider industry award party <laughs> that they put on TV that no one likes. It's All right, so Steve's and, getting uh, zero. And yeah. one last one. I haven't. I might be right. Uh -huh. Chocolaire. N incorrect. No? no? Adam oh Wilde. All right. I'm guessing, uh, and I, I put one in here for Jesse only, but uh, Adele in 2018? Incorrect. Uh, We're starting at 2019. Oh, 2019. Five. Okay, well, that's probably why. Okay. Uh, Mr. Probs. Uh, <laughs> Incorrect. Jesse knows Wave that after song. wave. I've yeah. got nothing in 2020. Taylor Swift in 21, because I thought that's when Evermore was. Folklore. Folklore. Okay. Yeah, and that then, is a point for Adam. Taylor Swift 2021. And well I done. couldn't figure out if in 22 she won it again. So I just, I threw Dua Lipa down, but I don't think she won it. Incorrect. Yeah. Um, and 23, did you have a guess? No, I have nothing. No? Okay. So one point from Adam. Adam, yeah. out of all of that, you, you claw a little back. The, were? the actual albums of the year, the last five. 2023, Harry Styles. He won for Harry's House. Oh. Maddie's yeah, very excited about that. that. Good. Good. Uh, in 2022, John Batiste won for We Are. Yeah. In 2021, oh. Folklore, Taylor Swift won. Uh, 2020, <laughs> Maddie said so good. Snore. In 2020, uh, when we all fall asleep, where do we go? By Billie Eilish. Oh yeah, that was huge. 2019, Casey Musgraves won for Golden Hour. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, really? Yeah, there you go. Album of the years. Pick. Every so what they do is like every other year, it's like we can't do we can't do CHR this year. We can't do we cannot do hit radio this year. Yeah. We'll do country. Yeah, 2018 <laughs> was uh, Bruno Mars. But, oh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna wake up in a dungeon. Like in a saw style dungeon, and they're gonna be like, "Steve, you have twenty four hours to name anything about that Casey Musgraves album, the, the name of which I've already forgotten, Golden or Hour. you die." And uh, I'd just be dead. <laughs> <laughs> be dead. Country's it's, not your thing, man. That's okay. Uh, oh, she's country. Yeah, For sure. All right, it's I a good album. You should listen to it. Is it? Yeah, I you wouldn't enjoy it, but I bet I know it. Adam, you're up. Pull a category. All right. The category is NHL coaches. It's a quiz. Hey, oh, NHL coaches this would be fun. quiz. This would be fun. All right. One minute. Maybe we do 30 seconds. I'm, apparently, I'm disconnected. So I'm just going to. Oh, no. I'm back. I'm back. We're good. Oh, it's a quiz, right? Not a test. My oh, bad. it's a buzz. Yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I love that no, we, there's it a right. buzz app. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I think, right I think, here. Perfect. No, I'm connected. I'm connected. 
Perfect. Perfect. Everybody ready. Let's do it. Dallas Stars. Nobody has buzzed. Stove. Oh, no, it's not him. Um, <laughs> Pete DeBoer. Correct. Ah, well done. Nice guess. I almost said Lindy Ruff. Yeah, I know. Oops. It still feels like Lindy Ruff yeah, after yeah, all these no, years. No. Could have said bone ass, too. Yeah. St. Louis Blues. As of... Wait. Stove me? buzzed in first. As of this morning, no one. Nope. No, they, they have an interim, interim head coach. They have an interim head coach. Yeah, somebody must and be And his coaching. name is like Bannerman or... Something like it's like what's his name? Uh, what is his name? Just that's, read it. That's the entire quiz. But, uh, he was so Craig Berube was fired last night at the time. As of when we were recording, I don't, this. I don't know. Ah, no, no, I know it's a B. I know Drew Bannister. Bannister. Oh, <laughs> I did not know that. All right. Next up, the Colorado Avalanche. Adam Jared Bednar. Correct. I, it scrolled. It didn't buzz. It scrolled. You got to get your buzz game better. Damn it. All right. All right. All right. The Calgary Flames. Adam. Uh, Ryan Huska. Correct. Oh. Next up, the Buffalo Sabres. Stove. Don Granado. Don Granado is correct. You guys are good. This is a tricky one. Is he a part of the Granado hockey dynasty? Tony and Cammy. Uh, he and must be. Yeah. 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 Gotta. All right. Next up. Tricky one. The Arizona Coyotes. Stove. Andre Chirigny. It's correct. It's flat out, I did not know that. <laughs> I was not familiar with his game, although he's doing a great job. He is. Oh, yeah. Easier one. The Islanders. Oh. Adam. Lane Lambert. Correct. Well done. Uh, at least as of this recording. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. We'll see if that continues. <laughs> All right. The San Jose Sharks. Oh. Oh. What is his name? Uh, David Quinn. Correct. Oh. Stove. <laughs> that is a I point I knew it was a D. Stove. I would have yeah. never got the last. Yeah, I was the guy with the eyes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like a husky. What the f What's his name? Oh, man. I think this one's going to be relatively easy. The Winnipeg Jets. Oh, Adam. Rick Bonus. Rick Bonus. Damn it. On the uh, the buzzer, you can see how close you guys were. It's, so it's it's one uh, 126 milliseconds. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Like, those are like F1 times. Yeah. Let's go. You guys are real close, but Adam uh, Adam's better on the buzzer. Yes, than he is. Yeah. All right. The Florida Panthers. Stove. Paul Maurice. Paul Maurice. Mm. The Detroit Red Wings. Stove. Uh, Derek Lalonde. Correct. Adam, step it up. I almost said Groot. Also known as Groot. <laughs> 100%. The New Jersey Devils. That one is Lindy Ruff. Yeah. Lindy Ruff. Well done. Well done. We'll do three more. Ottawa Senators. Adam. DJ Smith. Correct. At the time for, of the recording. For yep. now. As of right now, the we're going to the West Coast. Seattle Kraken. Stove. Dave Haxtell. Correct. Should have had that. Should have had that. And lastly, sticking on the West Coast, the Anaheim Ducks. Stove. Greg Cronin. Greg oh, Cronin. Former Marley you, coach. You, and at the end there, there you cleaned is. up. Just, wow. Steve, you focused. Wow. I, well, because I was like, I'm getting my ass kicked here. <laughs> got, he, they, he quieted all the voices. In yeah. yeah. You just <laughs> laser focused Whoa. on that. Well done. Well done, Steve. Um, oh, wait. Now, does Steve reach in and do the thing? I think you did the last one, right? Yeah, I did. All right. Maddie, let's uh, score update. Uh, it's not looking too good. <laughs> Adam, uh, you can pull down the 24 thing. 16. There's still time. There you go. What is it? Uh, 24 16 for Steve. So. There you go. 24. Yeah, I think it looks great. That's better than I thought. <laughs> I'm horrible at this. You got to pick it up a little horrible. Watch. It's just going to be like, name the allies in the order they join. And like, <laughs> ding, like, ding, ding, like ding, oh, shit. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Facts. Yeah, yeah. All right. Exactly. Steve, what Useless category are we got? That no one cares about. Adam. Oh, this is very much a wild card category. I have no idea how this is going to go. Simpsons trivia. Oh, wins. Oh. Now, if we were going up against Jesse, Jesse would crush us at this. 
Just to let you know, when, when I helped Jesse, yeah. along with Steve, move out of his childhood home, oh, yeah. his, uh, his, his childhood uh, 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 bedroom was covered with Simpsons and Family Guy posters. Yes. Yeah, Nobody was, knows yeah. those shows like, a, like <laughs> Jesse does. I had the poster. I don't know if anybody else had it in their, in their childhood bedroom, but there was the one of like all the towns and the, just all the side characters as well. Mm. It's like a very common poster. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, all right. Let's do this. Everybody has their buzzer ready. Okay. What is... Bart's full name. Steve. Bartholomew J. Simpson. Correct. I did know that and just did not buzz for some reason. I wasn't <laughs> sure if the J stood for something, but it's just J A. Jojo. It's just, but I'll uh it's Jojo? Yeah. That's what I meant. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'll I'll accept yeah. I was I was gonna accept Bartholomew, to be fair, but oh, okay. you added the J, which is nice. All right. This is an easy one. Buzzer. Super easy. Marge's sister's names. Adam. Patty and Selma. Well done. What was... Oh, let me reset. That was uh, 692 milliseconds apart. Mm. Adam Damn. and Steve on the buzzer. What's the name of the Simpsons' dog? Adam. Uh, Santa's Little Helper. The correct. <laughs> I almost said Snowball. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's the cat. Yes. <laughs> With the long nails. Click, 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 click. This is a little more difficult. Okay. okay. What's Marge's maiden name? Adam. Bouvier. Nice. Damn it. Well done. My <laughs> 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 Achilles heels. Simpsons trivia. The buzzer. Uh, the like, buzzer, well, yeah. Well, it's not the buzzer. It's my brain doesn't work as quickly. No, <laughs> mine doesn't either. I'm terrible at this shit normally. Okay. Who did Marge go with to her high school senior oh. prom? Uh, <laughs> it's a fantastic I know. episode. Great episode. Oh, it's a classic. Oh, it's it's I know the first name. That I will accept the first name. Artie. Artie Ziff. Right. I can even <laughs> like picture the actor who yeah. Yeah. voice. Uh, it's it's a great it's like and then at the, at the end of it, it's like it's such a great story. Who's that actor? I don't I, I know the name or I know the voice. I can't tell you the name. Travel the world in the seven, seven seas. <laughs> I am watching you through, through a camera. camera. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? John yeah. Lovitz? Is that it? Could be John Lovitz, anyway. yeah. yeah. Marge painted several portraits of which Beatle member she had a high school crush on. Steve. Ringo Starr. Ringo. Nice. Last one. This is a easy one. Free square. Just whoever beats it on the buzzer. Which cartoonist created The Simpsons? Adam. Matt Groening. Correct. Who's Canadian? Canadian. Yeah. Yes. That's why there's so many Canadian references. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. That was hey. pretty good. I think Adam came up on top there, right, Maddie? Oh. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It's comeback season for Adam. Get your rally caps on. Because now it's a five point differential. Oh. 26 21. Oh, All right. Yes. Pull out a okay. new category, gentlemen. All right. This is my turn. What you got? We're going to the back here. We're going to the back of this thing. Mm. Oh, the what back of the. Oh, God. <laughs> back yeah. of the Baby Yoda thing. Yeah. Oh, for God's sakes, Jesse. <laughs> The last five best picture Oscar winners. I can guarantee. <laughs> oh man, none of them. All right. <laughs> and this is this is a test, right? So there's gonna be a minute on the clock. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Like I really, I don't even know how to care about that stuff. Listen, man, I don't know the order. Can I just put the names? So tiebreakers because the order? because of how we saw the, the album of the year go. I'm just going to accept anything. Uh, if you give me the title, you don't have to give me the year. Just give me five movies. And if they have one best picture uh, within the last 10 years or five years, they, you will get a point. Okay. How is that fair? Yes. All right. Let's get a minute on the board. Reset. Start. Minute is underway. Just give me a movie that won the best picture within the last five years. So we're talking 19, 20, Your time 21. Started, eh? Yeah, I said go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm, all I'm, right, I just wrote down the one that I know. I'm filibustering for the minute. Um, and we're doing uh, 22, 21, 20, 
19 and 18 is what we'll do. That's uh, that's what we got. The 95th Oscars. 2022. <laughs> Who won Best Picture? Which movie star was slapped at the Oscar? Mm. That wasn't the Wait, Oscars. Wait, that's the bonus? No, no. Oh. <laughs> was it the Oscars? That slapped? was the Oscars. Yeah. It was? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was the Golden Globes or whatever. I, Two seconds. One second. Yeah. Done. Golden Globes would make more sense because everybody's sitting and drinking at a table. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Put your pens down. Adam, I'll let you go first. Give me your five movies. Okay, we got Transformers 2. <laughs> no. Why not? Uh, <laughs> Benjamin Button. And no. Uh, I know it won an Oscar, though. It did not win. Best Revenant, Picture. another bad movie that won an Oscar. Not, not within the last five years. All right, Star Wars. And no. Okay, I'm out. Okay. I <laughs> might actually win this. Okay, what you got? Uh, Ghostbusters. Nope. And Moonlight. No, not within the last five years. No! When was that? Uh, before this. I think Moonlight was... I was still working... Yeah, that was a while ago. I think ago. it was 2016, 2017. <laughs> that was a while really? Ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, time's going too fast. I don't... Those, I, those are your only two Those are my only two answers. Yeah. That's how shit the Oscars are. I couldn't even tell you. I'll well, tell like, it, it used to lend credence to a movie. Now, if it wins Best Picture, I know I don't want to see it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jesus. Oh, Name this a good is pretentious Oscar nonsense. Can't. Okay, like, oh, yeah. yeah, I just don't care. There's no points there, Batty. <laughs> what are, um, what are the movies? Can I make a guess? Is Parasite one of them? Uh, oh! Par Parasite oh. won in 2019. Okay. That yeah. I would want to see. Okay. All right, I have I'll, not seen that. I will. Got Parasite. Because that's a horror movie. I'm into it. I will read off the last uh, few Best Picture winners. We had Everything Everywhere All at Once. Definitely not. We oh. talked about that on this show. Yes, we did. Um, if you don't remember about. last spring. No idea. You, I've no, I couldn't even tell you who's in it. We talked about it on this program, the <laughs> Steve Dangle podcast. No, I know about I know about the movie. Haven't seen it. Don't know anything. Coda, one in twenty twenty one. Yeah, zero don't, idea. Don't, couldn't care. tell you a thing. <laughs> I'd be shot on sight. No man, no Madland, one in twenty twenty. Yeah. Absolutely no idea. Francis no idea. McDermott's in that. Oh, oh do okay. not know who that human being. Is. Parasite, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, that'd have been a good. One. Green Book in twenty eighteen. Absolutely no clue. And The Shape of Water in twenty seventeen. <gasps> So Moonlight must have been the, the year before. Oh, uh, yeah. The Shape of Water. Yeah. What's that movie? I, I thought The Shape of Water was an Ed Sheeran song. <laughs> the Shape Absolutely of You. Absolutely no idea. Yeah. All right, pick a new category. You, like the Oscars are irrelevant. You guys are useless. <laughs> With with that, yeah, absolutely. Can we I just start see. throwing out movie cat? <laughs> <laughs> that was the only one. So. All right, all right, all right. There you go. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one. It wants to be picked. Man, I what feel like got? CJ would have done just as well with those movie categories. Oh, Adam, speaking of movies, we got a sequel. Top 10 all-time goals, correct order. Oh, Yeah, we're going back. Oh. Going back to the oh. well. All right. This is tough. This is tough. All right, get out your pieces of paper. I'm going to start this clock real quick. <laughs> I want to get in a couple oh. more categories. Oh. All right, three, two, one. Correct order. Else you don't get a point. You guys failed at this last time. Let's see if you can do it again. There's an active player on this list, which is very fun. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> Steve, talk through your thought process while I have a glass of water. Okay. <laughs> I need water glass. I can't 38 seconds. There's, anymore. It's difficult because there's three guys who have over 800. Mm -hmm. Then there's a huge gap between third place and fourth, and I'm trying to figure out who is fourth? Um, oh, man. 19 seconds on the clock. Fourteen seconds. You can hear me swallow my water on the air. Disgusting. Mm. 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 ASMR. Bring back some Welcome. XL gum commercials. You get a little bit of that Don Cherry voice, eh? Where you just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the clock's up. Put down your pens. All right, pens are down. The order makes it so much harder. Yep. All right, Steve, give me your order. Uh, number one, Wayne Gretzky. Point. Number two, Alexander Ovechkin. Two points. Number three, Gordy Howe. Three points. This is where it falls off the rails. Number four, Steve Eiserman? Nope. Shoot. Uh, number five, Mike Gardner. Nope. Shoot. Okay. So I got the first three as well. I, only had, I thought it was top ten. I tried. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. So three points to I Steve, Maddie. I give you the top ten. I could not put it in order. Okay. So three points to Steve. Adam, give it to me. All right. I only wrote down five as well because I, for some reason, thought it was the top five. But 
Uh, oh, I think I know who so four is. Gretzky, that. Ovi, Hal. Three points for Adam. Okay. Yager. Correct. Ah! Uh, Brett Hall. Correct. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> five. Woo! Damn, five I don't know points who for that. Adam. Dino Cicerelli? Like, I have no idea. But, there, you go. Uh, there you go, Adam. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Gardner, I know Mike Gardner has over 700. Oh, Marcel Dion, Phil Esposito, Mike Gardner, Mark Massier, and Steve Eiserman. Mario's not even top 10, but he would have been. No, he's he, very close. He would have been. 690? Yeah. That's in a lot of less people. than 1,000 games. It's crazy. So in 950 You're games. clawing back slowly. Yep. Doing my best. There's a, there's, you're two up in that court category. Right. I can't pick believe a, I got you. Pick a new one. Category, Steve. It's currently 29-26 for Steve. 29-26. Ooh. Tight. It's tight. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> What is this? What did you pull? It's a test. World War One general. It's a roster test. In order. The 2018 Toronto Maple Leafs. Hey, let's go. Oh. No, very important. Very important. 2017-18 or 2018-19? 17-18. Got it. Glad I asked. Yeah. No, it's uh, that's a very important uh, differentiator yeah, there. <clears throat> yeah. Let me see if I got this one. I love these roster tests. These ones are fun. I wish you pulled a couple more. All right, you oh, guys. I got a minute. minute on the board. I'm going to start it right now. It has been started. Oh, here it is. Toronto Maple Leafs. The 17-18 Toronto Maple Leafs. Where did they finish? Pretty good. Toronto Maple Leafs. I think Adam might just be a faster writer than I am. Um, Head coach, Mike Babcock. That is not a point for anybody. <clears throat> a lot of... Uh, surprisingly, there should be more... Ontario born players. Oh, it's seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pets out. Shit. Here, I'm just, I'm finishing my answer. Finishing it, finishing it, finishing it. All right. Steve? My last answer is very funny if it's correct. Steve? Why was this the name that came to my head? Give me your players and we will mark them off as we go. Austin Matthews. Yep. Mitch Marner. Yep. William Nylander. Yep. Frederick Anderson. Yep. Morgan Riley. Yep. Garrett Sparks. <clears throat> no. 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 Shoot. Connor Carrick. Uh, Connor Carrick. Uh, yes. Uh, Jake Gardner. Jake Gardner. Yep. Zach Hyman. Yep. Connor Brown. Yes. Nazem Kadri. Yes. James Van Riemsdyk. Yes. And I don't know why this name came to my head in the heat of the moment. Ben Smith. Ben Smith, no. No? I don't see a Ben he Smith. He was probably the captain of the Marlies, but I don't think he Yeah, no. Because he, he won the Calder Cup that yeah. year. Yeah. 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 No. I well, then see. that's all I got. I don't see it. Oh, that's it. That's, that's I, I was, Adam was speed. I can't, wow. I can't spell anything correctly, but I, I did. No, that's okay. <clears throat> so the, so the, that final tally is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11. nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Adam? Eleven All right. Correct? Yes. So JVR. JVR. Bozak. Bozak. Kadri. Kadri. Matthews. Matthews. Nylander. Nylander. Marner. Marner. Riley. Riley. Gardner. Yep. Polak. Oh! Polak, yep. Hainsey? Hainsey, yep. Anderson? Freddie, yep. McElhaney? McElhaney, yep. Kasperi Kapanen? Yep. Oh! And as Maddie said, time up, I was going to write down Andreas Janssen, but I heard her say it, and then I couldn't remember the name. So, so as soon as she said, I, so it doesn't count. Oh, he was but I'm just saying, I, as soon as Maddie yelled that, I lost my focus, and I couldn't. And then I was like, what? And I went back to Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson. I'm like, no, override, override. So I couldn't get there. No excuse for missing Hyman on my part. And I should have had uh, Andreas Janssen as well. Ah. That's 13. Woo! To 11. You, Maddie, have, 12, but... you have 12. Um, Maybe I missed one. 
I had 11. McElhaney Anderson. I didn't get wrong, right? McEl yeah, how, so how many did you have so, in your paper? Yeah, 1, 2, 3, right. 4, yeah, 5, 6, 13, 7, 8, then. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 13. There you go. Okay. Damn. Yeah. yeah. There's the list. All right. Take a look. Uh, okay. Some of the names uh, we forgot or I forgot at very least. Patrick Marlowe. I don't know oh, how. Yeah. Why? The, Why would I forget? I don't that? know how. You had Ron Hainsey, I think. Leo Komarov, Steven, Nikita Zaitsev, Travis Dermott. Uh, Dominic Moore? That recently? I, 50 I'm games. 50 games, six goals. Uh, Matt Martin. Andreas Borgman was that season? Josh Man, Levo, uh, Andreas Janssen, Justin Hall for two games with two goals. Uh, Thomas Bacanitz, Freddie Goche, Callie Rosen. Uh, you, I think, had Curtis McElhaney. Calvin Pickard played a game. Martin Marincin, Nikita Soshnikov, and Leaf legend Eric Fair. How did we not have Martin Marincin? That's like a guaranteed lock for like five know. years. I don't know, man. It's right. a surprisingly long time ago. What happened to Andreas Borg? Why would he never? Um, injuries. Injuries. He injuries. Was. Fizzled out. He played with, I think, Tampa a little bit. <clears throat> he should have been. He should have been something. All right. What's the score, Maddie? So now it is forty thirty nine for Steve. One, One point lead. I think we do two categories. Two more categories. Yeah. Am I picking this or is oh, no? Steve's picking this. Steve, one. get in there. Oh. All right. All right. We're gonna go to the depths. Of the Baby Yoda ocean. <laughs> what do you? What'd you pull out? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. no, Steve, read it. The starting Stop. nine for the Blue Jays' last playoff game test. <sighs> now, I guess I'm assuming names and then order is tiebreaker. There's no tiebreakers. It's just uh, give me the names. Okay. List the players in the starting nine for the Toronto Blue Jays when they played the. Minnesota Twins and John Schneider decided to pull out Jose Barrios and not leave him in the game, even and though he's he not was one of the starting nine. I'm he was assuming. he was pitching. No, we're talking about uh, the hitters. Yeah, as Gary LeBron would say, "Holy Mama, in Toronto." All right, are we ready? All right, let, uh, let me reset the clock. It's ready to go. Go ahead, guys. And I need to search for this piece of paper. Where I had them listed out. I don't know where. Oh, there they are. Amazing. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so 11 player, 11 hitters played in the game. I will accept any of the players, the position players that hit the field. So we had a pinch runner in that game. Um, we had somebody pinch hit as well. We had 11 guys hit the field for the Blue Jays. I will accept any of those 11 names. Pitchers are excluded, just the batters. And it's sad because the pitchers were the story, right? Yeah. No, best, I could name the pitchers. Best um, uh, best rotation in in the AL East, or in the uh, American League, at least. Um, five seconds. We got left on the clock. Three seconds. A minute goes by fast. Yes, Holy cow. Pens yeah. down. All right. I got Shit. seven names. Oh, I wow. I have one, two, three, four, five, six names. Oh, Steve, Steve, you are up. Read them out to me. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Mm -hmm. Bo Bichette. Mm -hmm. Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho, yes. Unfortunately. Kevin Kiermeyer. Yes. Uh, Kevin Biggio. Yes. Ooh. Alejandro Kirk. Yes. Yes. That's all I got. Oh, I'm six for six? Man, you got all the hard names. I got all the easy ones. Adam. Springer. Bichette. Oh. Yeah, Brichette, Kirk. Okay. Guerrero. Yes. Chapman. Chapman. Kiermaier. Yeah. And my favorite, the jacked Davis Schneider. Did he play? Incorrect. Oh! <laughs> he should have fucking played. Steve stays ahead by one on the point. scoreboard oh. with the Davis Schneider pick. Man, well done. <laughs> Davis Schneider did not see the field because in that analytics. game. Even wow. The guy who's crushing it. He's on a hot streak. <laughs> if it wasn't for analytics, we never would have had Pat Borders either. <laughs> wow. All right. Last category. Somebody's got to pick it. All right. It's going to be Adam, you need to get up at least one mm -hmm. in this trivia to stay <laughs> in the game. <laughs> ah! What is it? The last 20 Stanley Cup champions. Ah! Incorrect. Oh. I want the correct year. 
Oh, it's it's quiz. It says quiz. Oh, okay, it's a quiz. Oh, oh we're buzzing. Shoot. We're buzzing. Forget that. Oh boy, God. that changes things. Get out your buzzers. I thought it was I thought it'd be a test. I thought it would be a test too. Did yeah. you accidentally write quiz? No, 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 no. I think this is more fun. We're gonna do ten. Here, wait, I'm out of the room. Still get back in the room. There. Yeah, I should probably get yeah. Okay. Uh let give me one second to pull up the answer. Last twenty? That's where I'm going to pull from, right? I'm not going to do in He's order. He's going to give us years. Yeah, I'm just going to give you years, and you got to give me the answers. Uh, what is this? Oh, here we go. Everybody ready with their buzzing fingers? Yes. I'm going to do 10, as I said. And then at the end of 10, if we're tied, we'll keep going. But if, at the end of 10, if Steve is ahead or Adam is ahead, they will be declared the winner. Oh, man. Oh, that's crazy pressure. Fuck. This is good, man. This yeah. is a lot closer than I thought. This is great. 2016. Stove. Pittsburgh. Correct. Yep. Buzzer. 2006. Adam. Carolina Hurricanes. Correct. Buzzer. See, Carolina, you think I don't know anything about you. I know you. That's two. Laviolette got that cup, not Maurice. 2018. Stove. Washington Capitals. Correct. 2007. Adam. It was the Anaheim Ducks. Correct. Yes. I expect you guys to be perfect. 2009. Adam. Pittsburgh Penguins. Correct. 2004. Stove. Tampa Bay Lightning. Correct. Ah, oh, yes. 2012. Stove. LA Kings. Correct. 2019. Adam. Shit. Uh, I don't know. 2019. I'm blanking. Take Go a guess. Take it. No, you have to guess a okay. team in the uh, National Hockey uh, League. Uh, What's wrong with you? 2019 is before pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so it's after the Capitals. It is. I have no idea. I'm blanking. Guess a team. Uh, yeah. I, I can't even. I can't even guess. It's not the Lightning, is it? It's is not that the, your guess? It's not the Lightning. Is that your guess? No, it is the Lightning. It's the Lightning. Steve. The Lightning won the President's Trophy. Ah, okay. Who won? St. Louis Blues. Saint oh, Louis. right. Fuck. Yeah. I'm just sitting here like. <laughs> I screwed that one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 2015, Steve. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks. Is that 10? I think that is 10. I think that's 10. And I think 10. Steve's won it. Uh, no, there's one more. One more? I goofed it on the St. Louis question. Yeah. All right. Last one. Let's do 2008. Adam Wilde. Try it. The Detroit Red Wings. And what is the final score, Maddie? Fuck. Uh... 52 to 49. Now, oh. 52 to 49. Well done, I caved under the pressure. Oh, you killed Adam. It. Well done. Oh. I know. I know. That would have made it. Jordan Bennington got his revenge. What? <laughs> Jordan Bennington got no. his revenge with me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Uh, that was that was really good. I it was a lot closer than I thought for sure. Jesse, well done. I was, was like fun. when when I buzzed it, I thought I knew it, and then and then it went through, and it, it was like name an NHL team at that point, and I <laughs> yeah, you're you're blank. Like, my, my brain was like my brain was like New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. I'm like, why is it? It's not New Jersey. Do you want to pull out some of the other categories that we didn't get to? Okay, let's for see. A dollar, let's see name a woman. Here. Name a woman. That's what we. <laughs> that's what happened. The Raptors roster for Game Six of the 2019 NBA Finals. Oh. Uh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I wish you um, that one. We got Siakam, Leonard, Gasol, Lowry, Danny Green, Fred Van Vliet, Serge Ibaka, Norman Powell. NHL mascots. Yeah, I have uh, the oh, mascots oh, ready. Like Mascot quiz. Uh, NFL teams. I think I want to <laughs> add that one. <laughs> uh, just team. I just want you to name the teams. teams. Yeah. NHL captains. Yeah. Really good one. That was from last year. We did that. Jerry Spurgeon! <laughs> Jerry Spurgeon! <laughs> what else we didn't get to? Uh, um, NBA champions. Yeah. That no, no years given. I no years. The 2001 Maple Leafs roster, I think I would have been pretty okay oh. at that. It would have been a tough one. No, no, that would have no, been head-to-head. -head. Well, Sundin, know. Tucker, McGinley, uh, Roberts, Hoagland, McCabe, Cabriolet, Travis Green, Shane Corson, Ty Domi, 
Uh, lots of other great guys. Corey Michael Cross, Lindbergh, Aki, Aki Berg. Oh, Aki Berg. Wade Belak, Joseph Manson, Dempsey. I saw Jonas Barrasso. Hogan in Sweden. He walked by. I was like, that's Jonas Hogan. The other one would have been Animal Facts, a quiz. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of Zoom Incredible. Facts. And top 10 all-time points, correct order. Yeah. Top 10 all-time There was also in there South Park trivia. Oh, yeah, oh man. Somewhere. Yeah. Did not see it fun. in there. Yeah. Oh, that would have been good, too. Hey, that was lots of fun. Woo, Damn, great. Jesse, I'm exhausted. That was fun. Oh, that was a good time. Uh, all right. We'll bring it back next year. We got more, more shit coming up more over the holidays, so shit. make sure to enjoy it. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we love you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. The the Steve Dangle Podcast. Follow the guys on Twitter at Steve underscore Dangle, at Adam W-Y-L-D-E, and at Jesse Blake. Connection to